Hi folks, Scott Sager with you again here in the RTC TV4 studios. Today we've got some great guests. We've got Ben Dalton and Phyllis Biddinger, both from the Kiwanis Club here in Fulton County. And uh, Ben, the former president, we've got Phyllis as the current president. And of course, if we've got them in here talking about Kiwanis, we can only be talking about the annual dinner that is held before the elections. And uh, this is the 60th mm -hmm. annual 60th. dinner before the elections. Turkey dinner, it's at Rochester High School, right? We still mm -hmm. hold it there. You do a lot of carryouts for that. Yeah. Vi told me the numbers one time. It was like 1,500 carryouts or something uh, like that. It was ridiculous. It's quite a bit. Yeah. yeah guys, I, I think it's easy, 1,500. Yeah. So yeah. you guys turn that into quite the restaurant for the night. Mm -hmm. uh, I always love it when Dick Belcher can serve me some mashed potatoes. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's a good thing. And Bob Peterson local and all the great folks. Yeah, yeah the yeah, local celebrities. Yeah. But this is a neat event that you guys do, and you've done it. Of course, you have the chicken noodle in the uh, springtime for the primaries. As we get into the general elections, uh, you guys hold this. It's a really neat thing. For years, my parents would take me there, and I was probably in high school before I realized that the politicians were showing up so that they could meet people and people could... Enter. I didn't know right. that there was the political affinity there. And I found that it's a very neat thing that you do. I've seen many folks even on the national level coming through here with uh you know our senatorial candidates etc and uh it's just 60 years in in of good stuff and you just keep plowing through right yeah, the members uh work and serve and and we start cutting pies and tearing turkey apart in the afternoon yeah but i as far as uh i mean it's done all that day yeah there's prep ahead of time but uh uh, the members really step up to the plate and work hard and give us two to three hours yeah. each. And, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's a, some more. Good uh, cooperation from the kitchen staff at the high school, oh, too. Yeah. They, that, can't do it without the no, kitchen staff at the Rochester High School. It takes good a, care of a it. great job. And they're there. You know, they have to do their regular job during the day, and then they stay, and they're there. You know, it's after 8 or sometimes 9 o'clock at night before we get done with yeah. dishes. And yeah. um, they're there. and. Mm -hmm. Cheerful smiles. Yeah. And Steve Furnival deserves mm -hmm. a tremendous He absolutely does. Thank Steve, you. Steve has funded, I mean, organized this. Yeah, for years. For years. Yeah. And he's got it down to a science. He really he does. does. He really does. <laughs> he and assigns everybody their roles and makes sure that everybody's got a position to uh, do their work. And mm -hmm. um, it's really a nice, yeah. well run, um, organized is. evening. It is. Everybody gets their job assignments ahead of time and yeah. You come and roll your sleeves up and get ready to work because it goes fast. I mean, yeah. it's five o'clock and next thing you know, it's seven thirty, and you're like, "Oh my gosh, where'd that time go?" Reminds so, me of my days back in Bloomington waiting tables where yes. you got that five to eight dinner rush. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is all out for that time period. But um, you guys do such a good job with that, and you know, it, it's really become a community event. Um, it's not just a group doing something. It's a community event. You have the politicians there. You have local leaders there. Um, and of course, all the volunteers and then community members coming in to eat. So it's a wonderful thing. And of course, my kids always get to choose the white meat over the dark meat. And that's a good selection choice yeah. that they don't get at McDonald's. Yeah. So, uh -huh. um, you have fun with it. But Kiwanis in general, let's talk about Kiwanis. People know about the dinner. And we want to invite you. Uh, this is the fifth this year, folks. Of course, Election Day is November 6th. As you've been hearing me chirp at you for that or about that for the past few months. But uh, tickets are $9. It is on the 5th. You'll probably, if you haven't, if Eldon Umbarger has not come to your door yet, he will be there. Yeah, he's he our top sales He guy. is always. You're in, your out. You're he's, in your out. He's, 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 he's he is great. Yeah, he, he really does. does. He's dedicated to this. Now, let's talk about some of the monies that you guys make from this. The Kiwanas make contributions back to the community every year, and you That's do correct. so via scholarships specifically, correct? Yes. We have, we're funding eight uh, $500 scholarships now. Excellent. And, um, it's our way of giving back to yeah. community and it's, uh, I've been doing it for, I've been in Kiwanis for 20 years yeah. now and it's been, uh, so if you add up, we have a, this is the first year that we'll do eight. Um, mm -hmm. we've been doing six in the past. So that's $3,000 a time over yeah. 20 years. That's, yeah. that's yeah. in longer 60 years, really. Yeah, yeah, 60 years. So, so it's been, um, a, blessing for us to have that and um it's just like you said it's a community event everybody comes out and supports it mm -hmm. we'd like to thank the community for coming out for Absolutely. 60 years sure. 
I was just a young lad 60 years ago. But. <laughs> Go, because if you're 60, then I'm real close, buddy. So we're not there yet. But um, no, it's a great thing. And, and uh, you know, we're blessed here in Fulton County with um, some very good service clubs mm -hmm. who sincerely care about this community and do great things. Um, Kiwana is being one of them. Now, you guys meet every week. We meet every Wednesday okay. at noon, 12 to 1. It 12 starts to 1. at 12 and ends right at 1. Okay, and you get a lunch with that, and typically a speaker comes in to and, talk. Yes, and, and that that is, for me, that was one of the drawing factors mm -hmm. to get me into Kiwanis because we have um, uh, two people per month that get the programs, and so your programs vary from everything. Oh, absolutely. From anything mm -hmm. that different people are involved in or interested mm -hmm. in. And uh, today we had a program on hope. Mm. Um, the new but, group here in Fulton County. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you learn a lot about your community and what's going on yeah. and who's involved and who's doing the things in our community. And uh, so it's just a real education. Absolutely. Individually for yourself. Yeah. And then um, the, the other thing I like about it is we support Riley. Yes. And, yep. and a lot of other, ch anything to do with children. Yeah. Uh, Boy Scouts, uh, we've supported Girl Scouts in the past. Mm -hmm. And any organization that has anything to do with children, um, we, we try to give some money mm -hmm. out of our budget. So mm -hmm. we spend a lot more than the 3000 Right, that's year just on the scholarships. For the scholarships. There's, there's quite a bit. Yeah. And, yeah, and uh, you're you're not you're not a business trying to rake up profits for shareholders. No, this is no. money that comes in, and goes, goes back out. Goes back out. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And, oh, that's uh, great. So yeah. you guys meet every Wednesday, noon to one, and that's at the hospital. Woodlawn Hospital up Upstairs, on the second floor boardroom. Okay, in the boardroom. For the folks out there that are watching, if if they're inspired to be, you know, come learn a little bit about Kiwana, should they just show up? Should they call? Should they find someone who's a member and be a guest? How does that work? You can do any of the above. Any really. of the above, yeah. okay. If you want to show up, that's So if you're, if you're out you. there and you're seeing this right now and you are interested in Kiwanis, there's no obligation. They can no. come and attend a meeting and mm -hmm. see how it goes. I guarantee you, you'll see people you know there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the other nice thing is, like today, we had an inner club oh. from Warsaw come. Oh, nice. And it was four gentlemen from Warsaw mm -hmm. that comes once. They come frequently. Yeah. But um, it's good to get to know them. Absolutely. And so we're extending our... Um, uh, knowledge of uh, other clubs yeah. and what they're doing and yeah. and uh, so that's always a positive. Uh, I love that as, as you guys know we, we've gone through and we've expanded th here at RTC we were just talking off camera about I'm expanding my community yeah. mm -hmm. and that's it's a it's really how it feels I'm making friends in other communities and getting to know mm -hmm. folks getting to know the events happening in those communities and so uh, that's that's what's happening with this Warsaw group now do you guys send folks to go and kind of travel to some of the other groups as well we're, we're supposed to. Yeah, and we're, and you we're, have from time and, to time, but nothing is consistent. To do that a, right, a couple sure. times this year. Yeah. yeah, and so the Warsaw guys are—they are very good. They're there. That's excellent. I know them by name because <laughs> they're there. That's great. Yeah. Faithfully. Well, you're making once friends. A month. Yeah, yeah. They're, and they're good guys. Together. They are good guys. They that's are good. Good guys. Uh -huh. and that's excellent. Well, time, as you know, is is one of the things we have the least of anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and so you know, for you guys to be able to go here or go there, it's a little difficult, but. At the same time, you guys are taking away from your own personal time, and we've got 30, 40, 50, 60 people there that night mm -hmm. that are all giving three, four hours mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. serve the community food, to hold this event, to help better our community. And I can't thank you enough for that. That's well, just, that moves me. Yeah. Well, and I want to thank each club member, yeah. and also the, uh, Ben has already done so, but the community for uh, in Rochester schools yeah. system yeah. for working with us and yeah. for allowing us to do this. It takes a village, folks. You'll hear me say that a million times, but this is just one of those components of the village, and uh, uh -huh. we, we love having you guys do it. I look forward to it. I eat too much. I'll admit it every time <laughs> we go there. Because yeah, Ben keeps bringing me food. Oh, yeah. you can eat Sager, you need more turkey. <laughs> uh -huh. But uh, it's good stuff, and it, it just feels... It feels like community at that event. It really does. And so I congratulate you guys. Thank you. We have two key clubs. Yeah, talk about one, the key one, clubs. That's an important is, part of what Kiwanis yeah, does. Yeah, it's one key club is at in Caston. The other one's in Rochester. Mm -hmm. And the key clubs come and help us mm -hmm. serve that night. Yeah. They, they're usually out helping with the water and the coffee yeah. and, and sometimes the cleanup. Refills, of, cleanups. Yeah. Yeah. And, they do a good job. And they yeah. do an clubs. excellent yep. job. Yeah. Those young people come and... I'm always and, impressed with the them mm -hmm. they yeah. are it makes yeah. does your heart good because you know you hear 
some negative about. Oh yeah, the youth of America is going rotting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But these kids step up. These are millennials putting down their phones and helping out. And we hope future Kiwanians. Yes. But um, they, they. I want to thank their schools too for allowing yeah, the organizations yeah. it's for a allowing great them together and and uh, be key club members. Yeah, giving back—that's what it's all about. You can mm -hmm. take all you want, but if you don't give back, you don't you don't fill your heart back up. And uh, so, what you guys do, everybody in Kiwana, is a, a sincere thank you from the folks here at RTC. It's going to be turkey dinner, folks. That is November fifth. It starts six thirty, I believe. Five o'clock. I'm sorry, five o'clock. My wife will make me go at 6.30. That's her dinner time. <laughs> but uh, 5 o'clock, get there early. All you can eat, uh, carry-out available. And I know you guys just, those carry-outs, boom, they're, boom, they're boom, just, all night they're, long. They're fast. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. They're fast. It's amazing. Well, keep up the great work. Again, Phyllis Bittinger, Ben Dalton here, representing Kiwanis Club here in Fulton County. Keep up the good stuff. This is officially the Rochester Kiwana Club. That's I should correct. say that. Yeah. I don't want to broaden it out too far. But uh, <laughs> Anyways, uh, folks, thanks again for watching us here on RTC TV4. We'll have more interviews for you coming up, but be sure and mark your calendar again. November 6th is the election day. November 5th is Turkey Day. So uh, have your fun with the Kiwanis this year, and we'll see you next time here on RTC TV4.